Now, as someone who is watching us right now, mm. may be wanting to start God's farming, mm. and then one of the big questions may be, I know there are different types of gods, like yes. you have said, we have the local ones, mm. maybe the crossbreed, something like that. Yes. Um, uh, you decided to go for local one. Yes. Uh, you know, why did you decide to go for local one, and maybe what are some of the types that someone should choose when they want to venture into God's farming. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Charles. <clears throat> One, it's because I didn't have enough money. I would have gone for the uh, a, a blood percent of the hybrids of, uh, up to a certain level yeah. to start from there. Yeah. Because when you start with goods that uh, of improved uh, blood, mm. say 50% or 75%, yes. when they give birth to young ones, yeah. first of all, those young ones grow very fast because oh, okay. those young ones, once they eat the pasture, they have the high conversion, you know, rate or yeah. ratio yeah. of the pasture. Mm -hmm. uh, so you find that a goat, uh, a 50% uh, goat bloodline mm -hmm. will grow quite fast faster than one which is purely local, ah, okay. bred by a local he got. Yeah. But if this 50% also got a 100% poor back and it makes it, mm. it will be able to produce a goat which is 75% bloodline. Ah, that okay. one also grows way, way faster than the 50%. Mm. So when you are starting with goats, depending on what your, uh, your financial capacity yes, is, yes. if you want to, you know, go into the league of making money faster mm. i encourage you to go with, for goats that of a certain uh, blood percentage yeah it will affect you uh, budget wise but at the same time once you start selling mm. you are able to recoup uh, this money very fast yeah because i think a 50 percent goes for around four hundred thousand if you're a single oh, goat when okay. you're selling yes. to a breeder yes, yes and then if it is 75 percent goes up to around eight hundred thousand. Oh, a single okay. goat yeah, yeah so there if you're there and you want to grow animals for breeding mm. then i prefer if you have the money yeah. go for the improved bit okay. if you don't have the money yeah. just go for the local breed yeah. and be able to uh, improve over time mm -hmm. but also the local breeds gives you uh, the opportunity yeah. uh, to, 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 to study and understand the animals yeah. now there are two types uh, or approaches when you're doing uh, good fun yeah. if you're going to do free range just like we are doing mm -hmm. then um, even when you start with the local uh, breeds, you are good to go because you are not going to be bothered about harvesting, storing, managing the pastures. Mm, you yeah. just release because remember the local ones have lower uh, conversion rate of the of the pastures. Yeah, that's yeah. why they are slow to grow and so forth. Yeah. So, but if you are going to go for zero grazing, mm. I wouldn't advise you to go for. Uh, local goats because oh. as I told you they take long forever to go yes. even if you are improving yes I would prefer you start with the goats that are either 75% bloodline uh, and then yeah. introduce 100% he yes, they yes. will give birth to an 87 point something you know oh. uh, offspring yes. that one will grow very fast mm. you really see when you come back after a month and you look at it when it is actually growing mm. after say 8 to 9 months yeah. it will be as big as almost as the mother and you can be able to sell it off oh, and okay. you can sell it off quite highly yeah. I told you so above 600,000 a single goat yes. so yes. you realize that if you are doing zero grazing if you have the money, go for the uh, hybrid, the yeah. improved one, yeah. for zero grazing. Uh -huh. If you don't have even zero grazing, uh, uh, it's not going to be very good for you. I wouldn't encourage you. I would encourage you to fast save. There's no way you should start uh, good farming on zero grazing and you want to start with local. Mm. You uh, That would be showing uh, some level of unseriousness. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, but if you have free range and you still want to do uh improved uh, version of goats mm. that's even better oh, uh, okay. because then you can be able to straight away uh, rear them but yeah. for those ones you i would encourage you to at least put up a raised goat structure mm. because then they'll not slip down they'll not have challenges of uh, access to all these you know, environment that may be a problem in terms of uh providing jams and so mm. forth that's for the hybrid one yeah for the hybrid ones okay, okay. even the local ones if you can but yeah. of course for them you know they are hardy yes. they are more strong yeah even us as we try here okay. we hope to improve our structures as you yeah. see this is a um kind of a makeshift but it serves the purpose mm, yeah. what is important yeah shelter your goods from strong winds yeah and rainfall
Oh, the rest okay. they'll stay well yeah. provided you clean the place every day as you can see the place is hygienic yeah, yeah we try is, to is. make sure that we sweep uh -huh. and so that is it yeah. so those are but in the among the local ones we have the um, kigezi uh, breed yeah. we have the mubende yeah uh breed and then we have the small east african goats yeah so now the kigezi ones you find they normally have feathers around mm, yeah. uh, behind here and yeah. on the back yeah then you just know that is a kigezi breed mm. uh, the mubende they normally have they're normally black or black and white and shiny you know coat mm. and uh, they can be quite of a big size ah, and okay. can be very good yeah the small east african as you know it's a small east african goat local but also small yeah they take forever to grow yeah uh, it's, it wouldn't be good and if you're at cross and you bring a hybrid and you want to introduce mm. a small east african goat then it's going to be a challenge yeah it will even fail to push yeah. uh, the baby even when it is well grown because oh, it is of a small size okay, okay. but among the the improved uh, goats mm. uh, we have uh, the, the, the hybrids we have the boa goat yeah which is my favorite and then we have the kalahari mm. i also hope to in have some kalaharis in future yeah uh, by introducing a bako too mm. and then we have the savannah mm. the boa normally is white and then a brown head uh grows very fast mm. uh very good uh good high f uh, grass conversion yeah uh red uh, the same applies to uh, the red kalahari the red kalahari is just basically brown the whole of it but its features and physical and and characteristics are that like that of a boa then we have the savannah the savannah is generally white mm. and it also grows well very well like the other three only that for it when it comes to the male it has a very high libido mm. you find that oh, a male okay. a, a male can be able to serve 50 goats oh wow but uh, for the boa and the and the red karahali those ones go for maybe 30 females mm. you see yeah yeah but in terms of growth rate and so forth they all perform well mm. and so you can be able to choose and say whether you want to try all of, all the three yeah. or you want to start with one breed over the other yeah. for me i'm just uh, i just like the boa uh -huh. that's why i went for it yeah. but i also want to bring in the red kalahari mm. in future when fans you know allow yeah and then take it on from there yeah, yeah.